I have tried over the last week to make this video over and over again. And I failed every time because I never know exactly what to say. So today I'm just going to let the camera roll and whatever comes out, that's what I'm putting up. But let me start by saying I could not have anticipated the response to that previous video. I could not. I, I, first off, it's the first video I've made in a while to get over 100,000 views. YouTube tells me that when I get success like that, I should double down and do what I did last time. So that's what I'm doing right now. This is another sit down talk between me and the people who care. And in this video, I want to talk about my legal issues. I want to talk about my mental and physical health and my overall opinion on the world and my life. Treat it like a podcast, listen to it and enjoy it. I think YouTube needs more things like this, and I wish there was more of it. No fancy, no fancy editing, no cartoons, no clips from movies playing in the background. Just me and you having a conversation. But also, the response from that video was overwhelmingly positive. And after years of negativity online, I was not expecting that at all. Sure, you, my ride-or-die fans, you were there for me, as you always are. Through my ups and downs, God bless you, thank you. But I also heard from fans who have not seen my videos in years because it's just never been recommended to them. They saw this video for the first time in a while, and it was nice. Of course, the content creators who are friends of mine, who I'm close to, who I speak to every day, I heard from them. But I heard from content creators I haven't heard from in years. God bless you for reaching out. God bless you for talking to me. I had no idea this video is going to have that kind of impact. And the response that I got I mean, sure, there's the usual negative naysayer folks who hate everything I do, but the response I got from these normal, healthy, positive people was twofold. The first thing they had to say was, Boogie, we support you. We're here for you. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Of course, you, were, you made mistakes in that bad situation you were put in with the legal problems, but you should have never been put in that situation to begin with. No one should have. Sure, maybe you messed up, but regardless... You were put in a bad situation, and who knows? It could have ended much worse, could have ended much better, but God bless, I'm just glad you got through it. That is very different from what I've been hearing online for the last couple years. I've been hearing, boogie deserves the death penalty, drag him out of the street and shoot him in the head, beep, boop, 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 boop. I have heard the most vitriolic shit. For, I was really beginning to think I was a supervillain. Really was, because that's mostly what I was hearing online. For every one positive person, there was three or four negative people. And I think I know why, I'm going off on a tangent here, but who cares, right? Positive people lead positive, healthy, normal lives, right? They got their families, they got their friends, they go to bars, they go to shows, they, go, they live their lives, they do stuff. They're not at home all day tweeting at some fat guy they saw on YouTube a long time ago, right? They don't have, they have people who... People who like Star Wars are probably not going to talk about Star Wars a lot because they like it. It's pretty good. right? It's the show I like. I also like other things. The people who hate Star Wars, though, they're going to talk about it all the time. right? They're going to be very interested. In, in, they're going to be tweeting at Kathleen Kennedy. Feminism ruined everything. Beep, bop, boop. You and your stupid vagina. <laughs> and, and, and there was an old saying when I was growing up. If you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. That's what we said when we were growing up. I think now the appropriate term would be, if you have nothing nice to say, you're probably thriving online. I stole that. I read that somewhere. I don't remember where. But it's probably very accurate, right? The unhealthy people who really are just filled with hatred about Star Wars make YouTube videos tearing down Star Wars, and they do very well because the other people who are also not going to bars and having normal lives and living lives with their families are also at home wanting to hate on Star Wars, and it's nice to feel... A connection with someone else who hates shit the way you do, so you become friends with it. Touch grass. <laughs> if you if you hate Star Wars that much, go touch grass, right? Um, but I, 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 to get off of that tangent, the second message I got from most of these people was, Boogie, thank you for sharing these feelings and these emotions. It helps me with my feelings, my emotions, my physical issues, the legal problems I've had. I've gone through something similar. I'm going through something similar now. Thank you. It, it's been a long, it's been a big debate amongst people who've watched my videos why I talk about this stuff. A lot of people think I do it because I like attention. Of course I like attention. I'm a human being. 
We all like attention. Boogie, do you like attention? Yes. Boogie, do you like music? Uh-huh. How about food? Yeah. Water? Mm-hmm. I like the things the humans like. Of course I like attention. It's one of the reasons I do most of the things I do, because it's one of the things humans crave. Uh, do you not like attention? If so, get therapy. But also, when I put these things online, it seems to help people. At least that's the feedback I get when I go to conventions, when I go to shows, when I meet fans in real life. When you talked about your divorce, it helped me with my divorce. When you talked about your gastric bypass surgery to help me make a decision about my weight. When I saw you lose weight, when I saw you gain weight, when I saw you, because I shared these things, it has had a positive impact on people's lives and it has helped them. And this video helped people and that means the fucking world to me. Because do I like attention? Yes. Do I like making money? Yes. Uh, who doesn't? But if you can get attention and also help people. If you can make the $75 that video probably made and help people, you should do that. I, I like being a clown. I like being a dumpster fire for entertainment value. Of course I do. But if I can also help people, I should, and I want to, and it makes me happy. And to hear that I have helped you make it through this nightmare of a world we are all experiencing right now, <laughs> it helps a lot. And I do want to say that I'm a very malleable person. I think people know that by now. Certainly the negative people, the trolls or whatever you want to call them, know that by now. But when I, there's a lot of negativity in my life. I think and act very negatively. And when there's positivity in my life, I think and act very positively. That's why I have to surgically remove any negativity from my life, any negative people from my life as best I can even though I'm very negative, and, but if I'm around a negative person, it reinforces the negativity. They're acting negative, and then I feel negative, and negative, and negative, and negative, and negative, until eventually we tear each other apart, right? Like, I have to be very careful about who's in my life because of that. And I have to be careful about who I listen to online. But the positivity that I got from this video, boy, it lit a fire under my ass. I started doing my back exercises to strengthen my core. I, I did some clothes. I did some laundry. I started cleaning around the house. I started playing video games again and really enjoying them. I, I, shit, I got a haircut. I got tired of looking like a, a discount weird owl. I, I got tired of looking like a homeless person. Okay? And I went out and, and, and got that done too. So at least it's a physical representation of how much better I felt. And I hope I look better today. I, I, I definitely feel better. And that positivity helps so, so much. I know it's a burden. And I know it's difficult for you to take the time out of your normal, healthy, happy life to say positive things. But if you can, when you do, and I don't mean just to me, right? Like, it's great when you do that for me. But how about every content creator you watch? How about all of them? You don't know if they're healthy or not. You don't know if they're malleable like me. You don't know if they're easily influenced like me. Give the smaller creators you know some love and some positivity. They deserve it. They could use it. You could be putting some good in the world. If someone has done some good for you, give them a little good back. I know it means the world to me when you do, and hopefully it means the world to them as well. Now, I'm still bound about what I can and can say about this legal situation, but I, I saw a ray of light. I've seen the light at the end of the tunnel. I, I see some very... I think we're getting closer to the end than we've been in the last year. And I feel like probably by the end of March, early February, I'm going to have something good to share with you. It's probably not perfect. It's probably not exactly what everyone would have wanted, where I would have wanted, but it's probably fair. I don't know. I'm, I'm still struggling with it, but certainly it could be a lot better. It could be a lot worse. And I'm going to think positively about it and look at it positively. And as soon as I can share it with you, like the minute my lawyer says, tell the world, I will tell the world. I got big plans surrounding it. I got told to lay low when all of this happened. Don't try to make money from it. Don't try to profit from it. Don't do a GoFundMe. Stop making YouTube videos to make less YouTube videos, make less streams. Lay low, let this blow over, lay low, let this blow over. And I did. I'm so ready to stop fucking laying low. 
I'm so ready to speak my mind and talk my shit and, and post videos and, and go back to unboxing cards on Twitch and, and doing it full time and just hitting the ground running. I, the, 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 I'm counting the seconds until this is over now. Making preparations for it every day. So, uh, good news is coming. It's rare in this world that we get good news, and I hope that you can party with me when we get it. I hope you'll join the celebration. That said, I'm going to go back to working on my life, so that way when I'm ready to come back to YouTube and work on this instead, everything will be ready in an order. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon. And next time, I hope to bring some really good news to you.